Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What impact can taxes have on the economy? Taxes are a crucial component of a country's fiscal policy, and their impact on the economy is multifaceted. One of the primary ways taxes affect the economy is through their influence on economic growth. Research has consistently shown a negative relationship between income tax rates and gross domestic product, GDP. For instance, an exogenous tax increase of 1% of GDP can result in a decline in GDP of approximately 2-3% to over three years. Taxes can reduce consumer spending and lower incentives to invest. When income taxes increase, they reduce people's take-home pay, leading to less money available for spending. This reduction in private sector demand can lower GDP. The type of tax also plays a significant role. Income taxes, for example, have a less negative impact on GDP compared to corporate taxes or indirect taxes like value-added tax, VAT. Raising the income tax rate has the least negative effect on GDP, with the economy often returning to baseline levels in the long run. In contrast, increases in corporate taxes lead to severe and negative initial falls in GDP, affecting productivity and inflation. Changes in marginal tax rates are particularly influential. Cuts in marginal tax rates are associated with increases in real GDP, declines in unemployment, and positive effects on real wages. A one percentage point cut in the marginal tax rate can lead to a 1.2% increase in real wages on impact and a 3.3% increase after 11 quarters. Investment and consumption are also significantly affected by tax changes. A one percentage point cut in taxes as a proportion of GDP can increase consumption by 1.3% one quarter after the policy change and by up to 2.9% after two years. Similarly, investment can increase by 1.2% on impact and by 4.6% two years after the tax change. The way tax revenues are used can mitigate the negative effects of tax increases. If tax revenues are reinvested in growth-enhancing areas such as green infrastructure, education, or research, the negative impacts can be diminished. This reinvestment can lead to a net positive effect on long-run output with only a minor dip in GDP in the short term. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.